Another topic that gets uh, a lot of people talking is salt, especially when we talk about high blood pressure, we're told to uh, reduce or uh, eliminate it. But by the same token, we need salt as well. So where's the balance there? And, and, and uh, uh, obviously there's different kinds of salt as sure. well. So. Yeah, good point. Uh, if a, a patient is admitted to the emergency room or the intensive care unit, one of the first things the doctor nurse will do is put an intravenous saline solution, salt. Uh, the battery of life is here is a cell and outside of it is predominantly sodium chloride and calcium and inside of the cell is predominantly potassium chloride and magnesium. The difference in these minerals is what makes up the membrane potential and that's the battery of life. So, salt is so important, salary is, comes from the word salt. Uh, Roman soldiers were paid with salt as their salary. Uh, we fast forward to today where we have, instead of salt from the ocean, uh, sea salt has a collection of about 80 trace minerals in it. Salt that we're processing and refining does not have any of those minerals. So if you take someone who is living off of fast foods, they're getting, let's say, six times the upper recommended amount of sodium. They're not getting any or very little potassium, calcium, magnesium. Now, go back to that, that soup that I mentioned. The battery of life is sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium fluids. If you give way too much sodium and not enough of the others, you create hypertension, heart disease, diabetes, cancer, and a whole host of other things. But it's not salt that's the evil, the ogre thing. It's you're not following the recipe. So more fruits and vegetables will contribute potassium. Uh, more foods like uh, broccoli, kale, uh, collards, some da dairy will give you calcium. Whole grains will give you magnesium. And actually, a lot of these minerals are in higher levels when you find organic biodynamic food. Uh, the farmer puts NPK into the soil and we take out harvest for 50 years would keep taking the food out. If you go to the bank and you keep taking money out of your account and never put anything in, you're eventually bankrupt. And that's what the soil is in America because we're not putting those trace minerals in there. The upshot is we do eat too much salt and we eat the wrong kind of salt, a real salt, a pink salt, a Celtic salt, a sea salt, or better yet, take um, um, basically a seaweed, kelp which contains that salt and potassium and all of these other phytochemicals and extremely beneficial. So do you, should you avoid salt? No, you should add those other nutrients and get the right salt.